I hate this place. Why? I love it here. I hate this place. This is our last day as a duo, baby. Just Hilarious will be here on Monday. I can't wait. You hear me? You don't love me no more? Nah, we just had, you know, it's better with a 3-0. It's a trio, not a three oh. What I said, man. Leave me alone, man. <laughs> I'm tired of y'all acting like I can't talk and y'all know I can't. Morning, everybody. We are the Breakfast Club. Let's get to the rumors. Let's start off with Wendy Williams. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the rumor report. I mean, I guess we on the Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. Now, there's a documentary coming out on February 24th and February 25th. All right. The documentary is called Where is Wendy Williams? Let's play a little bit of the trailer, please. She was put in front of a judge and given a guardian. That was when they took her away from us. I have no money. And I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. As her family, we were all sitting on the sidelines watching. And she was crying out for help. Did you drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. My mom, she always talks about how she wants to work, but I feel as though she's worked enough. She has people around who are yes people and allowing this to continue. This is all too much. I think she's losing memory. Have you guys noticed that? How dare him? Anybody could look at her and tell this is not just alcohol. There's something more going on. I I immediately uh, prayed for Wendy Mm -hmm. uh, after I watched that. And I don't understand why they got the camera in that woman's face. For what? Obviously. Y- y- y'all taking advantage of the dysfunction. Why do you want to document uh, somebody's somebody's uh, d- 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 downfall, basically? Like, why? Like she needs the money, and she probably got paid to do this documentary. If she says she has no money, she's not doing radio. She's not doing her TV show. How do we know she's getting the money? She's- if, if you hear people in the documentary, I think it was her son saying that it's people around her taking advantage of her. How do we know she's even getting the money? How do we know somebody just didn't go do this deal? And you hear somebody else say that she's losing memory. So how mm-hmm. we know that she even knows that she's in the, the right frame of mind to even know what she's doing? Well, if her son how do we is know involved, that money getting her? If her family's involved, you would hope she's getting the money, right? Yeah, you would hope so. I don't know. I, just, I, I, I genuinely feel, uh, feel compassion for her. I do. Cause I, you know, I worked with her for for, for three years. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I even ended up in New York City. Right. You know, from Columbia South. I was doing radio in Columbia South Carolina at the time. People know that story. But I'm just saying, it's just like, yeah, I, I genuinely do feel sorry for her. And also because the level of miserable that y'all seeing now, a lot of us saw that way, 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 way back in the day. It's just mm-hmm. clearly gotten worse. Only thing I would tell folks is, don't laugh at Wendy. Learn. Mm-hmm. It's a cautionary tale. And she says that in the trailer. She says, if it can happen, to, if it can happen to me. It can happen to anybody. That's right. How, how old is Wendy? She's in the 60s? No, boy. 50s? High, I think upper 50s? You're about to say high 50s. I'm about to say high like 50s. It's the temperature. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to start saying that about people's age. Yeah, and they high, high 70s. High 70s. Like it's hot outside or something. But maybe she, I mean, she's, me she's not. She's 59. She'll well, be 60 this year. Well, I said 60s. He goes, no, hell no, boy. She's 59. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 I didn't realize it. The reason I say she's 59, <laughs> she, you know, she, hopefully she will get a, a second shot at this thing called the music industry and in and, 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 and no. an entertainment world. Why not? No. Why not? At, at this point, that should be the least of anybody's concern. Well, after she gets help, if, if she does need that, the help. Her, her son said it in the doc. If you watch the whole two-minute trailer, her son said um, she talks about wanting to work all the time. He said, I think she's worked enough. She needs peace. That's what she needs to spend the rest of her uh life trying to do find find peace yeah but not that's... just not just with herself but you know you know you want to you, you hope for, for you hope for forgiveness you know what i mean you hope if you've d- done any wrongs you can make them right but maybe in this she, moment but maybe she can do that in the entertainment world maybe she can get back to what she does because that's what she enjoys it seems like that kept her alive it don't kept sound her like going. she need to be in front of nobody camera to me hmm. it don't look like she need to be in front of nobody to camera to me that's just my personal opinion. All right, well. And I also just want to tell y'all, for all of y'all that want to be the next Wendy Williams, just know, mm-hmm. oftentimes, that style of broadcasting does not end well. That's just the truth to the matter. That's right. You know? We've sometimes seen it numerous the, times. That, that, listen, you say what you want. You know, sometimes that, that, that energy you put out, it does come, come back to you in a lot of ways. That's right. So, you know, you just, you just got to know that. Know, all, know, know the whole totality of things. That's why I like watching, you know, the OGs that have come before us because you really get to see the whole totality Correct. of how things play out. You can see the things they did right. You can see the things they did wrong. And it is very important to know how your plane is going to land. So right. many people's planes are landing and the wheels are not coming out. Oh, there is. Yeah, there they is are no crashing. Wheels at all. Okay. 
All right, well, let's keep it moving. Jacquees, yes, Jacquees and Trey Songs. It seems like they got into an altercation. They're both out in Dubai, and uh, Jacquees posted this uh, about an hour ago, a couple hours ago. I want the world to know this bitch ass n- Trey Songs is a bitch. Period. This is a bitch, bro. This bitch came in the club talking about bitch. you talking about bitch for a bitch ass. Bitch. Then you come outside the club and swing on your little brother. Use a bitch. Chris Brown the goat. Use a bitch, brother. Bout a bitch. that ain't even my. Bitch. You talking about bitch that's with these bitch. the workers? You talking about people that came with these? Bitch. Hey man, bitch, you bitch ass. Bitch. You a bitch. Bitch. And I don't give a f if you tell anybody anything about what we text you. Put the message on there, bro. F you, bitch ass. You can never come around me. F you. What is happening? I want to tell y'all something. If we got to bleep that much, don't play the damn clip. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with y'all as producers in this building? Who, well, who, who put you up to this? Well, <laughs> I, I don't even know what the hell's going on. Well, Jack Queese and Trey Songz. I'm were old, in the you club. know. I need details. <laughs> I need every word. Almost to understand what's going on nowadays. And y'all just gonna bleep that thing like that? Bleep, 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 bleep. Well, Jacquees and Trey Songs were in Dubai. They got into a fight and altercation. Allegedly, they, uh, Jacquees is saying Trey Songs ripped out his hair during uh, a, a tussle. And y'all had to bleep that? <laughs> y'all had to bleep that? Y'all couldn't play that for me? <laughs> So uh, I just I just hope that these brothers understand that they are in Dubai and the laws in Dubai are a lot different than the laws in America. And I want those brothers to get back here safely. Don't none of us care because all of us of a certain age couldn't even understand what was going on because it was too many bleeps. So we don't even care. What's happening? Hmm? All right. Well, lastly, Juvenile is more. Yeah, this is something else. (laughs) Juvenile calls out the Lovers and Friends Festival. This is what he said. Oh, man, here we go again, man. These cats at Lovers and Friends. Whoever in charge of Lovers and Friends, man, y'all doing bad business, man. Y'all done put my name on the flyer, and y'all know y'all ain't sent me no deposit, ain't sent me no bread or nothing. Keep on playing games, talking about y'all going to get back at me. Look, y'all playing games with the wrong motherfucker, man. If y'all going to book me, y'all not going to book me, take my name off y'all flyer. I ain't got no problem with that. I could do something else with my time. I ain't tripping. But don't put my name on y'all flyers if y'all know y'all ain't paid me no money. That's up. Four bleeps. That's all it was. <laughs> and I understood everything that Juvenile said just now. And I even know what word was bleeped because of the way, the, the context of how he was using it. That's how you talk, okay? <laughs> Stop putting people on flies if you ain't sending them they front end and you ain't secured the business uh, the way you're supposed to. That's right. Period. All see? Right. Yeah, you see? Four bleeps. Well, Mace recently asked to be removed from the lineup. Uh, the Dream and Mary J. Blas also confirmed they will be not performing. So this is uh, the fourth artist. So we'll see. Lovers and Friends got to get it together. Well, they got enough people on that tour. <laughs> yeah, so right, if they, they lose do. a few, they'll be fine. All right. And that is your rumor report. Now, when we come back, we got front page news. Tesla and Figaro will be joining us. And Keenan Thompson will be here. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.